what's going on guys welcome back to another video and as you can see we made some major upgrades with my office space but it didn't start here it wasn't easy let's go all the way back to the first day when i actually saw my office all right so probably some of you guys didn't know that i actually got another job one of like my dream job before youtube would be my dream job but there's one issue one issue So could you believe it? Could you believe it? The desk setup is pretty bad and today we're gonna try to fix it. Okay, so stepping into the office right now, as you guys can see, uh, it's not the best, okay? It's probably all the echoes here. Let me try to turn the lights on. It's probably gonna look yellow, but yeah, this is my setup. It needs a lot of work, guys. We're rocking a Samsung monitor right here. The Asus laptop is gonna get replaced. All this stuff, it, it, it has to go. It has to go. All right guys, so today's a big day. I'm not sure, I think this is day three, but today is when I'll be getting that incremental, like a major upgrade, because today's the day where I'll be getting a Mac M1 MacBook Pro. So this is gonna be my main editing device. I'm not sure if I'll switch over to Final Cut yet. I'll be, you know, practicing a little bit, especially over the weekends, but Ken is supposed to bring in that M1 MacBook Pro. So you boys officially at Apple. I don't know, this completes the ecosystem for me, <laughs> definitely. What's up, morning. So we got Check today, Ken. This is for you. What is that? Okay, we do some quick editing on the M1. Let's see how fast this thing works. <laughs> Okay, so I think today's day four of this setup upgrades part five, and today we'll be bringing in the BenQ monitor to rock with the M1 MacBook Pro, and it's gonna be a huge upgrade because what I was using, this is what I was using before, guys. So yeah, this upgrade is major, color accuracy increases, all that good stuff. Let's get this thing set up, let's go. So as you guys can see, we made some major upgrades. This BenQ monitor I've been using has been nothing but short of amazing. Firstly, the design is really sleek. It's so good. I even decided to keep the monitor stand because of how good it looks. The colors are vibrant. The images are super sharp tons of usb ports as well it also has an external speaker if i ever need to use it and coming in at 34 inches is the perfect size for me to edit videos on and in general just to be more productive overall i can have multiple windows open without feeling cluttered and that's why i love it on top of the monitor, I have the Logitech Brio webcam as my main like zoom and discord camera. I have the Logitech Scream cam at home, which I use for like gaming and stuff. But just for the office, I think the Brio is the perfect fit for what I do. To my surprise, Logitech not too long ago just launched the 4K Pro webcam, which is a bit more consumer friendly. And also it has a higher resolution of 30 megapixel compared to the 8.3 megapixel I have on the Brio 4K. But the Brio 4K looks very sleek and business ready. Either one you choose, it shouldn't be an issue. I love the fact that I could run 4K 30fps and 1080p at 60, so if needs be, I could stream through OBS or Streamlabs if I ever decide to start up a little Twitch stream at work. Hopefully, my boss is not looking. But overall, I love this webcam. It lets in tons of light, which I need because my office at the moment is not very well lit. Right below all of that, I went with the Logitech MX keys for my keyboard of choice and also the MX Master 3 for the mouse. I was using the MX Master 2S previously, but knowing how good my MX Master 3 is back at my home office, I had to get one for work as well. Now, I've been using the MX lines of my since 2016 and it's hands down the best productivity mouse money can buy. 
it's very ergonomic so using this all day to edit through footage isn't a pain and it also has tons of customization options available in the logitech option software to tailor to all my editing needs so yeah it really speeds up my workflow minimizing the amount of time i have to like switch on to touch on to the keyboard so that's really nice a new addition to the family though is the mx master keys keyboard i've always seen them around in other desk setups but for some strange reason i didn't feel like i needed one until now reason being is that at home i game a lot i don't think the ms keys were made for that but for what i do i know it's made for productivity so as far as like productivity for the couple days i've been using it the typing experience is really good for an office space like this i love the fact that the keys are quiet and easy to actuate since it's also wireless that helps to keep the desk clean and both the mx keys and the mx master has multiple device support so whenever i bring my ipad into the office i could easily switch between the two devices now onto the centerpiece of it all and what to me personally brings the setup together is this large desk mat from Orbit Key. Now my desk is made of real wood so it has a lot of bumps and rough texture so I definitely needed this desk mat for smoother tracking with my mouse. The black PU leather really adds a touch of elegance to the setup. It also has a little secret felt compartment where I usually just store coins or documents I don't really want to see at my desk at the moment. There's also a small toolbar here at the top of the desk mat to hold pens pencils or markers if needs be but it doesn't end there the desk mat also has this magnetic cable holder system to house charging cables or any cables of the sort you know those charging cables that usually just falls behind your desk when you're not in use yeah this cable holder got you covered and i love this desk mat from orbit key links down below in the description if you ever need it so moving on to the lighting lighting plays a key role in my desk setup and i wanted to have a very clean and sophisticated look so i decided to go with the gantry palm table light and this thing looks amazing i really like the style of it and i chose the black one as it blends in well with the oak wood tabletop that i have and also the rest of my black peripherals now the lamp is dimmable all right so you could use the dimmer switch that it comes with to, you know get that perfect lighting i also like that this lamp is made with plant-based materials rather than just plastic the light is also really diffuse well casting a nice warm smooth light onto the desk which makes me feel warm and cozy you know the winter time is coming up so feeling that warm and cozy vibes while working at my desk is a bonus and if you guys would like to purchase anything from gantry you could use my discount code siobhan20 for 20 dollars off your purchase links down below in the description but yeah let me know what you guys think about this table light it looks really unique it matches the setup well to me it's a 10 out of 10 all right so you know we have to have the brains behind everything last but not least this thing's a beast the one that pawned the entire setup with one single usb c type cable this is the m1 macbook pro and how I wish this was a 16 inch model, but it's fine. I'll live with it for now. I'm still waiting for that M1X chip, but Apple is just tweaking. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, what can I say about the M1 MacBook? This thing is just a performance junkie. It handles all my video editing, photo editing, and it's also really good for entertainment. I love the fact that it's super lightweight. I bring this thing with me every single day to work. The battery life is also really good. I can get work done on the train in the mornings before I get to work as well. Overall, man, I would 100% recommend this laptop to any content creator or students out there that can afford it. But having, like, if you want to game, if you're having gaming on your mind i would definitely look elsewhere more in the razor blade or the asus direction and also if you edit with premiere pro and you use 10 bit stuff and like 422 10 bit it might be a little bit laggy so if you're a final cut editor there's nothing to worry about 100 get the m1 macbook pro but if you edit with premiere pro it's like a 70 percent chance that you'd have a smooth editing process but yeah that's my setup. That's everything I've pieced together to get this beautiful layout from head to toe.